Hello world, this is 20924. Assume the credit that credits is an int variable whose value is zero or positive. And write an expression whose value is freshman, sophomore, junior, or senior based on the value of credits. In particular, if credits is less than 30, then it is freshman, 30 to 59 sophomore, 60 to 89 junior, and 90 or more would be senior. I think the question is a a good one to demonstrate the conditional operator in a nested sense. I think we understand the question. You, you want it to provide a value, and that value is determined by the number of credits. I've initialized the credits to 25, but we'll test it with freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior. But clearly it's less than 25, so we're a freshman right now. But first let's demonstrate the structure of the nested conditional operator. So the conditional operator asks a question, and then you have a question mark, and then you have a uh, one is true. If, if question is true, then you have the value, and if the question is false, you have the value. We're going to structure it inside. We're going to deal furthermore with this. If the question is false, we're going to ask it another question. And then in the conditional operator form, if that question is true, then we have this value. If this question is false, then we have this value. However, we have another question to ask if this is also not satisfied. We have a third question to ask. And also with, with a conditional. And if that is true, then three true. And if it's not, then three false. Which is actually also three false is also two false and one false because we've already established them. So actually it goes backwards, excuse me, because this value is either the true or false of question three. That gets put into, because of the parentheses, gets put into this statement. And those statements are relies on the truth of this question. And then these, the, the remaining true or false of this is the determinant of the result of question one. Hopefully that makes some sense. But let's plug it in and see if it becomes clear when we substitute in what we're looking for. So we're going to start from the bottom, though we could start from the top. We could start from senior and go down to freshman, but we'll go from freshman. So if credits, question is if credits is less than 30, then we are a freshman. If not, we have to proceed with question two. Question two is if credits is less than 60, or we could say less than or equal to 59, then two is true. We are a sophomore. And we don't have to put the above 30 because we deal with that here. And then if not, we deal with the third question. The third question is credits less than 90 or less than or equal to 89. We would be a junior. And in all other cases, we will be a senior. So. Let's walk through the backwards logic of this from the parentheses. If the credits is less than, and we'll use the example, 25. 25 is less than 90. Therefore, we're not a junior, we're a senior. Or wait, it is true. 25 is less than 90, we are a junior. So junior gets passed to here. So is credits less than 60? We're either a sophomore or a junior. It is less than 60, so we're a sophomore. If credits is less than 30, then we're either, if true, we're a freshman. If not, we're a sophomore. So this should come back as a sophomore. 
the actual expression they're asking for is is this but to run it we have all this other stuff so let's save it and we should be a freshman and we want to close off our quotation marks let's try this again we are a freshman let's see if 40 gets us to be a sophomore let's see sophomore let's see if 70 gets us to be a junior and let's see if 170 makes us probably should have graduated by now so we're a senior so again I'll put the expression on one line this is a nested conditional operator maybe I'm not going to put it on one line close second line so you can see all the parentheses this is the expression that they're looking for that's the nested conditional operator